Hi, my name is Jordan Doomer. I am here to attempt comedy, is what my ultimate objective is at this current moment in time and space. And so, here it is. I don't have any written material, so I'm going to kind of wing it. <laughs> That's my uh, Thanksgiving uh, pun for the night. Um, I'd like to talk about Thanksgiving. It's getting close to that time of year. And so we kind of have that spirit in the air. And it's a great idea. I mean, two different people of two way different cultures got together and shared the abundance of food and prosperity that they both have acquired for that season. I mean, that's a great idea. And it's a great thing to celebrate. It just kind of well, it kind of just pisses me off, really. But man, the endless food-based sexual innuendos accompany that holiday is astronomical. It's infinite. Infinite possibilities with Thanksgiving's sexual innuendos. Warming the oven. Oh, and that's only when you're getting started. Grandma's old-fashioned stuffing. Drizzle than gravy. I mean, come on. Endless. Endless sexual innuendos with, with this holiday. And to top it all off, whipped cream on some hot pie. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, Thanksgiving does have some perks. I don't have to go to school or adult school work. And you just eat until you're fat. And just feel disgusting. And then you just lay there feeling awful or try to distract yourself with the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Wait, that's Easter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't like how gluttony is celebrated in a way that kind of blankets all the fucked up shit that happened. I mean, I'm really, really disgusted with the Native American stereotype. They call me Chief Grand Cherokee. Me likey the fire water.
I just really don't like that. That stereotype that Native Americans are alcoholics. And I've read in history books like, oh, that's just some kind of weird degenerative disease that's genetic among um, northern Native Americans because, I don't know, you know, we start stealing their land and then they untap that DNA with inside them or something. I don't know. It's not called alcoholism. It's called nowhere to fucking goism. All right. What do you think a Native American is gonna pack his bags and leave to get away from the fucking white man? Come on. At that time period, there was nowhere to go. I mean, what you travel the world and just see the same shit happen to other fucking people that happen to these people? Fuck. Yeah. So you fucking get stuck on a plot of land, a fucking fence straight it in, in your little fucking corral, and the government basically just gives you food and money and lets you do whatever you want, just to remain politically correct enough, so that when the next group of top dogs, the next group of alpha monkeys that waltzes into this nation. They don't have the political excuse to murder our fucking asses. And it's a damn shame. I actually have a buddy who's uh, half-breed Indian, half-Cherokee, and he calls himself a half-breed, by the way. That That's not me sticking it to him or anything. He's a good dude. I'm just saying... This motherfucker went to Israel. Because he had tumors in the brain and they multiplied in a week's time from like four to like 14 or something he said so he went to Israel to get stem cell done on him and I mean I've seen him since and he says they cured him all but he had to go to Israel and experience that shit, I just tried to wrap up as humor. And I asked him, because I read bits and parts of this book right here. It's called, Who Rules the World by Noam Chomsky. It was written in 2016. Let's see if we can get an exact date. Ah, uh, just 2016. Oh, no, there we go. First edition, U.S., May 2016. Pretty cool. Except for, uh, he talks about the genocide going on in Palestine. Or, yeah, in Palestine, to the Palestinians by the Israelites. And since my buddy went there, I had to ask him, you know, because I can't trust anything that's read or written in a fucking book. I mean, come on, man. It's a fucking book. And so I had to ask him. And he told me that the same thing is going on to the Palestinians that happened to the Native Americans. And after hearing that, I believe him because why would he lie about that? That must have been incredibly painful for him. So, 
But enough about that. What about turkeys? I mean, they're like the, they're like the third world peacock. <laughs> That's not dissing the third world. I mean, maybe kind of. It wasn't for the fact that turkeys are just fucking cool. I mean, everyone's like, oh, such a useless bird. I mean, look at it. It's so fat. Can't even fly. Just kind of wobbles everywhere and makes noises. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why makes such a great punchline. It's like in real life, that stuff's kind of just annoying. I mean, you can only take so many of your cats before, before you are evoked to do something about it. But man, turkeys are awesome. I mean, think about it. They are kind of like a peacock, but like not as cool, you know? Not as beautiful and majestic. I mean, everyone wants to fuck a peacock. Come on. They're like the rare exotic turkey. I mean, the turkey is the one you take home after a couple too many drinks, and you're open-minded enough to experiment. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs>